Hello everyone. So I finally made it to Madrid and I'm in my hotel room right now. Let me show you around. This is it. <laughs> it's very nice. My roommate hasn't come yet. Um, this is the view from my window. <laughs> it's, it's not the nicest view, but it's, it's interesting. So the flight went well. It was like six hours. I didn't sleep because there were three babies crying and I was right next to the bathrooms, but it was okay. I watched two good movies. Um, I, we we're settling in and I met some people through CIEE at the airport. And so we're obviously we're in the hotel right now. Everyone's pretty nice. I'm still trying to feel some, you know, roommates out, but it should be good. Um, we're going to go get some lunch here in a few minutes because we're starving and right now it is 11.30 almost, Madrid time. So I'm excited, a little anxious. Um, they gave us our little name tags and it tells you where I'm teaching. But um, yeah, I'm going to get all like deplaned. I'm feeling kind of gross right now. But yeah, I've got my suitcases. <laughs> They made it, <laughs> all of my stuff, it was very heavy, but it actually wasn't that bad. Mom, you'll be good, you'll be glad to find out it wasn't that bad, they weren't that heavy. And one girl told me she packed one bag and it was overweight and it was the same price as me checking a second bag, so it was totally worth it. But um, yeah, I'll let you know later how Madrid's going. Okay, so here I am back in my hotel. I wanted to update everyone. Sorry I didn't get to bring you out on any adventures today. We didn't really do a whole lot. Um, we went to a cafe that had Wi-Fi because the hotel Wi-Fi is really bad to search for apartments. But um, we had our dinner tonight and over the course of the day met quite a few friends and people that I, we get along really well and we're laughing and having fun. So things are going well so far so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to take this out and show you around Madrid we're walking around on the subway and such so that should be fun so hopefully I'll have the blog up with a, like a couple of days worth of footage so it is like a 10 o'clock here Tuesday night and going to bed because I'm really tired but good end to the first day Hola again, everybody. So I'm on the street now. I'm outside where my apartment building is going to be. I'm waiting for the landlord um, lady to come meet me, so I'm going to sign a contract. But this is, is behind me. And this is the building that I'm going to be living in. It is so nice. Kind of a busy street but it's okay because the apartment is so nice once I move in I'll show everybody around but there's just a bunch of shops and the bars on the street <laughs> it's a really nice area I lucked out and the train station I need to go on is literally two minutes away maybe and Allison and Ange look what I just found yes the relief cookies. I'm so excited. I'm going to break it out right now. So right now, I am going on my way to Ikea to get all the stuff for my apartment because I move in today, which is really exciting. So I'm going to get some bedding, hangers, and just other stuff in general. And I don't really know if you can see me because <laughs> I don't have the selfie camera on. So I figured I just walk around so I'm kind of on the outskirts out here it's like really industrial so it's not as pretty as like the city center it's okay just walk around with me for a little bit I guess there's nobody here so I have my oh I finally got a phone plan today so I have data on my phone which is awesome because before I was literally I just could use where I had Wi-Fi 
and my apartment doesn't have Wi-Fi right now so I was just like work going to cafes and using my friend Emily's Wi-Fi who I've been staying with so <laughs> that was a little rough but um, now I have data and I got my abono which is my metro card so you pay like a lump sum for the month and I can use it helps me go it lets me go all the way down to my school and all the way to the city center of Madrid so it's awesome I can use all the buses and the metro so it's looking up <laughs> all right okay I'm almost there it's like a 15 minute walk from the metro stop but the metro was super easy to use too which I'm so excited about it was really easy to figure out like the tube in London which I love. Okay, check out this building. Crossing the street. Oh, what is this? I just like wave to the cab drivers, like thank you for the cars when I pass the on the sidewalk or the crosswalk. I don't actually know if you do that here. Might as well. All right, I'll, I think I'm gonna stop now. But uh, I'll let you know how it goes in Ikea. Okay, so check the Ikea out. What is that? It's so big. Is that a joke? Oh my God. So yeah, I will have to uh, navigate my around that. I was told to just go to the bottom floor, but oh my god, what, what are they keeping there? It's so big. It's so big. And I've never been to an Ikea before because the closest one is in, like, outside of Boston. I don't go there to just get you know, furniture. I just go to Bed Bath & Beyond. So this is going to be an interesting trick. Trip. Whatever. We will see how it goes. Okay. So I was very successful at Ikea. <laughs> Two bags worth of stuff. Yep. Um, I had to get, you had to get like the comforter and then the cover. And that comes with a pillowcase, so I got a pillow. And I got a bedside table, lamp, some hangers, because I didn't have enough in my closet already. Um, a towel, like a hand, regular towel, a hand towel, washcloth like normal stuff that I obviously didn't bring because I was gonna weigh down my suitcase so it's actually really reasonable for all the stuff I got oh I got like a lap desk to use my laptop on crossing the street okay now I just have to go move all of my stuff from Emily's apartment to mine luckily mine's on like the first floor we have to go up like two sets of stairs so that will be I will show you guys that later. All right, I'm almost at the Metro, adios. Okay, so I'm in my apartment. I moved in today. I got all my stuff back from Ikea, like stopped here afterwards. Then went to Emily's, grabbed my suitcase, brought it here, went back, had dinner with her and Erica, who was um, in the four week immersion with Emily and they were stayed at, um, they have the same host family. So we had dinner and then I brought everything else over here and I've moved in, kind of. I've put my bedspread on, which is really cool. So, can you see it? And that's the pillow, the bedspread. I had to buy that and like the under sheet. And then, so this is my room. I guess this is the door I walk in. And then that's just my luggage. And the other door goes to the the last free room. So if there was somebody else in here, we'd have adjoining rooms. But we'll see how that goes. And I have this huge wardrobe thing with a ton. I bought some hangers today, but there's just so much space. And then this is the window out to the street. And it's pretty noisy when I have this open. But it's kind of cool. I mean, I think I'll get used to it. And there's like a bar down there. You can see through that. So, yeah. And 
then, but I'm gonna keep that closed because it's a little loud. Yeah, okay, and then I have my desk. So, I mean, it's pretty big. I just have like a lot of space. So, it's really cool. Um, I'll go through the rest of the apartment tomorrow, but now I'm just really tired. I'm gonna watch a movie on my laptop. <laughs> really excited. It's the only one I have and I don't have internet here yet so but um yeah I'm really excited for tomorrow I'm gonna unpack all my clothes and just be able to sleep in because I pretty much got everything I needed to get done today so I'll show the rest of the house tomorrow I'm really excited and I'm gonna go food shopping and so I guess we'll see how that goes but this is cool I have my own place in Madrid Ooh, it's kind of weird, but it's really cool. <laughs> okay, I thought there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, the shower. It's So it's kind of weird because I just took a shower. In the States, it's like a regular shower with the tub and then the shower head, but instead of the shower head being on like one of the side walls, it's right in the middle. So there's like not that much room to, to stand. It was just kind of weird, but I guess I'll get used to it. But it, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I will. I'm going to try and put all of these videos on. I still haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with this vlog. Just if it's um, like updating everyone on just kind of like living in Madrid, I guess, and teaching. I start teaching on Wednesday. Today's Saturday. So that I'm getting excited about that. But I'm glad I'm like all moved in before that all is happening because that's going to be another like new thing. But. I feel like I'm adjusting well for only getting here on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to think, um, but I'm definitely gonna do this when I start going places, which will be really cool. And I'm starting to tell my friends that I'm doing this. They don't think it's weird if I just start, you know, talking to my phone. <laughs> so you guys will hopefully see some of my friends, my new friends here. And yeah, uh, hasta mañana.